Hey, church family, happy weekend, <laughs> happy Saturday. Uh, weekends are nice, amen. Uh, listen, we're gonna pray this morning, get our weekend started off good, <laughs> amen. So if you're ready to pray, let's go ahead and jump right in. Father God, we thank you for this new day. This is a, the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in you. From the rising of the sun till the time that it goes down, the name of the Lord is to be praised. And I thank you for that, Father. I thank you for the honor and the privilege of lifting up the name of Jesus, of glorifying him who sits on the throne. I thank you and praise you that you are a God of love, a God of mercy, a God of kindness, a God of long suffering. It's the goodness of the Lord that leads us to repentance, Lord, and I thank you, thank you for that. On this day, Lord, we lift up ourselves and our families, Father, that we can glorify you. You are the only one that should be glorified, so we glorify you. Oh, dear Father, as we see such craziness in our world, I thank you for the peace and stability that we have in you. Without you, Lord, I don't know where we'd be right now, but in you, I have faith, Lord. I have confidence that everything's gonna be all right. In the same way Israel became a nation in May of 1948, we also know, Lord, that Jesus Christ will return to take us home. So we are looking up because our redemption is drawing nigh. Scripture must be fulfilled because we are at warp speed, Lord. We are seeing things that have been prophesied for thousands of years. We might not see them all clearly yet, Lord, because we look through a glass darkly, but soon face to face. But Father, in that people are hurting and we come and pray for people today. We come and pray for the lost, unchurched, unsaved people, people that are saved, that are just going through hard times and we pray your shalom, we pray your peace, we pray the perfect labors to come across their path, Lord, at the right moment, at the right time, that perfect person to minister grace and truth to them. We thank you, Lord, that because of you, we, we, we get this second chance, Lord. Adam fell, but because of you, we have the ability to be born again, since the fall, Lord, and be restored to righteousness. And I pray that upon every person, Lord, <coughs> every person. We lift up prayer requests that have come in, Father, and we pray over brothers and sisters. We pray over the new prayer requests that come in daily. And we thank you, Lord, for people's lives being touched spiritually, mentally, physically, socially, Financially, we pray shalom, shalom, Lord. Peace, peace, Lord, and I thank you for that, Lord. I thank you, Father. Also, we lift up our world before you, Father, and we pray for this world, Father. This world needs a touch from heaven. We don't need a revival in America. We need a revival in the world, Lord. The whole world is going down, the, going down quickly, Lord. We pray. We pray for politicians, Lord, in our own nation, this precious land that we call home, the United States of America, Father. We pray over our own nation. We pray over the politicians, Lord. Let their hearts be woven to you and those that aren't, Lord, those that refuse, those that have an antichrist type of spirit. Oh, we pray for them, for blinders to come off their eyes, Lord. Lord, you, you, you desire that no man perish, but all be saved and come into the full knowledge of the truth. And that's what we pray, Father. We pray for the blinders to come off of people's eyes and hearts to be open. We pray for every realm. We pray for family and marriages, education, businesses, government, media, arts and entertainment, and the church, Lord. We lift up your church, Father. We lift up the service tomorrow. We lift up Reverend Jim Petro as he shares the word of God that you will anoint this tongue to bring forth the word accurately and with power. We thank you for this and so much more, Lord, so much more. 
We bless you, Lord. Oh, you, you the Lord, you bless us and keep us. You the Lord, make your face shine upon us and you are gracious to us. You the Lord, lift up your countenance upon us and you give us your peace, your shalom. To you be the glory and honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, God is good. Amen. As you go forth in this day, go forth. Think of the Lord during the course of the day. The Bible says, set your mind on him, your affection on him, renewing the mind. One of the great ways to do it is just fall in love with Jesus. When you're driving, just say, I love you, Lord. When you're sleeping, before you go to bed, say, I love you, Lord. Just, just have a, a relationship with God. The Bible says, except we become as little children, we'll not enter into the kingdom of God. And a child just has a great imagination. And I believe it's the same with us that God has given us this amazing imagination that we could think of God, think of glory, think that soon we're going to be in his presence. Amen. Love you, church family. Have a great day again. Thank you for joining me.